Okay, we're opting for oh, GoPro. Brandon's got himself a biggie. Holy f Electronics Patagonia bag on the edge of the seat and it falls out on your way. So now I'm going back to find $4,000 of electronics equipment somewhere on the trail. Hopefully. Yeah, look, what he, look what we found here. Dummy. Good old job, Patagonia bag. It's been to hell and back. And now we're going all the way back. Back up the mountain. I'm an idiot. Jeez. There we go. So I hope the drama is behind us. Well, it is because we've been catching some fish. The Operation Retrieve backpack is completed. And I'm out here with these two yahoos on a brook trout lake. All right, I stroll up after my losing the, go the backpack fiasco. Brandon had one fish and now he's got another one. All right. Leech? Leech. All right on. Secret dubbing color. The noobs will have to come talk to the rest of the shop if you want some of that dubbing. <laughs> I think we all three have the same dubbing on. Diamond dub. Black red. <laughs> all right. Another fatty. Silver humongous. Oh yeah. On the old barbless. How that silver human this look? This ain't here a lock. <laughs> oh, nice fish. Nice red fins. Beautiful. He gone. So what you're saying is that humongous works in the mountains. Or humongous rookies. Humongi. <laughs> also, as a side note to Kelly Barnes, calling Kelly Barnes, we found your net. Yeah, because Kelly Barnes has a reputation for leaving nets in lakes and high mountains. So we've come and found, we found this sticking out of the rocks. And we're just looking at it. Oh wait, what does that say? Fish magnet. Oh. That's not Kelly's. It's gotta be Lance's. Okay, I'm working the edges over here with no net because I left it over there like a dummy. Idiot thing number two I've done. And then I just hook a nice rookie off this log jam. There he is. Holy moly. He's gone. Oh, you did see him though. What is that, Brandon? You think you might have a big fish? Gosh dang it. Now I'm gonna have to climb down this freaking. There we go. Get him out of there. Alright, what do you eat? Magic leech. Beneath the dry? Beneath the hopper. A hopper. Good fish. Back 
back under the cut banks where they like to live. And I'm gonna say, get out of here. He says, nope. Big B tight on a fish. I just barely turned the camera off. His little hopper leech technique's doing well. This one looks pretty decent. That's a nice fat one. Yeah, Mr. Regan with the little toad. Oh yeah. You can't complain about those. Fatty though. Yeah. What'd you get him on? Little black jig streamer. Something about those. Gonzo. And I had time to grab a few casts for that guy right there. Hey, we're opting for oh, GoPro. <laughs> Brandon's got himself a biggie. That's a, that's a I saw that one hit. Oh, Holy f Here, do you want to tell me your net and I'll try to land him? Dude, your net is not big enough. Yeah, it's big enough. You can extend it. Oh, even better. And I don't know. That was a big fish for this size net. And it gets kind of deep here. That's the thing with these high you into lakes. Bugging. <laughs> that dude's going no. Okay. Is that a six weight? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get this. Oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy. That is probably one of the bigger brook trout I've seen. Okay, look, there it is. Oh my gosh. You got him, you got him, you got him. It's about as far as I can go. I got him. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Brandon, that's a, that's a trank. Holy crap. Oh, oh my gosh. It broke your net. Or was your net already broken? It was kind of already broken. Well, yeah, he just broke it a big time now. Let me see if I can handle okay. it. Okay. I'll put him on the other side. Okay. Holy crap. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very small lake, and that is a tank of a brook trout. Barely. Look at that. Oh yeah, <laughs> can't even hardly get him out of the net. The thing is so fat. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh boy, that is crazy. Good job, Big B. day we didn't get a lot of fish on film because the lake's small and we had to walk around it and I was just too lazy to go back and forth we'll see what Lance used on his last little stretch of lake but for me it was the black red 
Diamond Dub Leech, for which there will be a tutorial. Okay. Big so, B with the big fish of the day. Big fish. What was the best? Huge. Um, leeches were the ticket, black and red. Worked really good. And I caught some on wine too, but. Yeah, same with um, me. Throwing them either on the midge tip or under a, like a big hopper just to get them close to the drop offs. They were tight. They were tight. And then whenever you could find some good undercut banks with some cover on top and where the fish could get underneath it, if you literally took your 10 footer and just jigged it in front of them, they'd just come out and swipe in. That's how the two biggest ones came out. That's, almost, that's almost cheating. That's not cheating. <laughs> you know what's cheating? Nothing because it's fishing. Ah, <laughs> burn. And Mr. Egan. Yes, sir. He caught a couple. Caught a couple. A couple or 20. Mm, a few. <laughs> Some nice brookies. 497. I counted. 497. I think I caught four. 97. You caught four way more Four plus than that. a few more. Best fly for you? Best fly, uh, black and red leech for sure. Crazy. Yeah, a couple on silver humongous. Tried lots of different patterns, but black and red was definitely the best. Well, and now we are going to get out of here. Yep. Got a fun ride Take back. Look him. Back up the trail. She's gotten us in here. She helped me find my lost Patagonia bag with this camera in it. That was a scare. Shout out Patagonia for not letting the camera break and falling out of the sun. Yeah, and there was no dirt in there even though the bag's filthy. And it got rained on in Argentina like no tomorrow. So, we're out of here.